Who touched? I ain't touching. I ain't touching nothing. All right. Good old Monet. Now, we didn't get to talk about Monet Friday. Right now, she's going through it, though. We don't know where Janet's at. We know Monet wants to get back in the game. And Drew was going in on her this week. Man, Drew didn't give a damn. Drew like, no, 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 baby. No. No. If you tell a lie to me, Monet, I'll go crazy. I'll go crazy. Monet's got her problems and I've got mine. She be lying to her kids, making breakfast. She said Diana's baby was a blessing, but Kane came and said it's the dumbest thing she could do. Don't leave. Monet told Kane, don't leave us, Kane. Please eat your eggs and stay. Don't leave us, Kane. No, no. Now, Monet is one of the biggest liars that we've ever seen. And you can't call a Tejada a liar unless you point the fingers at the top liar, the top Don Dada. Not Lorenzo R.I.P. to the brother, but you got to look at Monet. You got to look at Monet. Monet coming here fly as hell for breakfast. What they say, what the young people be saying? She ate. Monet ate. Auntie Mo, I'm Uncle Mo. Auntie Mo, Uncle Mo. You know what I'm saying? Now, Monet wants to get back in the game. She's been saying this for weeks. She's on paid time off. Noma don't even know that she's even alive. Noma was like, don't come into work. She sent that to uh, do a text message. Janet said that you're a piece of shit, mom. We seen the flashbacks. Monet was a piece of shit, mom. Drew caught a body. This piece of shit, mom, slapped the hell out of Drew because he was crying because he saved his mama's life. She wants Diana to have this baby when she knows good and damn well that this whole life is fucked up. She pulled a gun on the baby daddy and told him that her daughter was pregnant. He ran off. They hugging. But all of this doesn't matter. Everything I just told you guys, it doesn't matter. There's a rug. If you lift the rug up, you get a broom. You sweep all that shit up under the rug. It's going to pile up. It's going to make a little mound. Guess what? Monet don't care. Because Monet is only worried about Monet. And survival is a must for Monet. She still wants to get in the game. She still wants her daughter in the game. She still wants her son, Drew, in the game. She still wants her son, Kane, who is fucking the ops, in the game. She don't care who she endangers. She don't care what you got going on. One thing about Monet, I don't give a fuck about those kids. Y'all are adults, and y'all still gonna listen to me like y'all in elementary school. Monet don't give a fuck. She's willing to risk it all. Monet killed Poppy. Monet killed Gordo. Monet killed Zeke. Yeah, I said Monet killed Zeke. Monet killed Dante. Monet killed Mecca also. Monet is knocking niggas off. All for the love of money. She got shot up, and the first thing she could think about in the hospital was, ooh, I can't wait to get back in the dope game. Now, the game has changed. We don't even know all these players. Monet got shot, woke up, and there's a nigga named Zion on the block. Monet got shot, woke up. There's a new detective named Don Carter on the scene. Monet got shot and woke up. Both of her sons have moved over into the normal organization and have significant roles. Monet got shot and woke up, and her daughter Diana was pregnant. Monet got shot and woke up, and we revisit her past. Monet got shot and woke up and her snitching ass cousin Janet was living in the house telling her she's a piece of shit. Monet don't care about none of that. She recovered and wanted to go back to work the very first day. 
she didn't throw a dinner party or a breakfast party for the family to come over here and rekindle their relationship. She brought them over after the dinner where she found out that her two kids put a hit out on her. She chased them about the house. She pulled a gun on them just to have breakfast with them after that dinner where she wanted to get them back in the game. After all that transpired, she still said, come on over for breakfast and let's talk about how we can get the Tejada organization and the Tejada family name back up in these streets of New York. Monet Tejada might be the most ruthless, selfless, and selfish mother in the power universe. I said a whole lot of nothing, but it made sense. But it's a whole lot of nothing because I don't think Monet got anything in that noggin. It goes in one ear and out the other ear. Monet is what you would call a menace to society. Or if you want to dumb it down so Zeke can understand what we're talking about, Monet is a little rascal. Monet is the epitome of married to the game. No matter what's going on, Monet don't give a fuck. Don Carter came to the house and said, I know about the niggas that shot you. I know about your connection with Tariq. In one ear, out the other ear. What did she say? I got to get in the game. We went into this midseason finale thinking we was going to learn something. Monet apologized to Drew just to tell Drew, look, I apologize. But look, nigga, that's my bad. I fucked up. Now we see where Diana gets it from. Diana put a hit on Monet. We're sorry. We didn't mean to. Diana put a hit. Well, she gave Tommy the information, basically put a hit on uh, on Tasha. She told Tariq, my bad. I didn't mean for that to happen. Tariq said, what the fuck you mean you didn't mean for that to happen? All of this is transpiring. But we now realize Diana gets this from Monet. Monet said, you know what, Drew? I apologize because Drew went off on her at this breakfast table. Drew said, no, 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 you got to hear this. You fucked up, Monet. And until you accept your fucking responsibilities and accountability for yourself for how you treated us growing up, then fuck you. She said, my bad. Look, my bad. My bad, Drew. I fucked up. That's on me. My bad. I, I, I raised y'all wrong. But look, real quick, if you uh, if you interested in getting some money, you, you trying to move some work, you, you, you trying to move this pack, what you trying to do? Look, look how Monet apologized. This is some. I told you I was going to try to implement that word. This is diabolical. Look, Monet's sitting there like this. Yeah, my bad, Drew. Whatever, whatever, nigga. Whatever, nigga. Hey, you trying to make some money? Look, there's no remorse on this face. She's sitting at the bar like. My bad, you have fucked up, nigga. I got, you caught a body at 12. whoop dee doo nigga. Niggas just catching bodies every day. You trying to move some work? You trying to get some pack? Don't you work with no man? Don't you know the routes, nigga? Fuck all that bullshit, Drew. Let's get this money. Monet is different. And I love her for that. You need different. If everybody was the same, it'd be a boring-ass world. You need different. You need ignorance. You need somebody. You need somebody to lean on in a time of need. Now, this is a time of need. What do you mean a time of need, Mo? This is the time that Drew needs some money. Yeah, this is a time of need. Drew needs to find a way out the game. Drew needs to do one drug transaction. And guess who wants a quarterback Monet Tejada. She just apologized to Drew for fucking up his childhood. She accepted the accountability, holding herself responsible for all the bullshit that she did. Only for her in the very next breath. I'm so sorry, Drew. I shouldn't have raised you guys around the drugs. Like, you want to go, you want to go steal some drugs? You said just one time, right? Just one time, right? Just one time. That's all you need, Drew? Okay. Let me draw up the perfect heist. Okay. 
you used to drive for Noma, correct? Okay, and they used to go um, up 118th Street. Then they cross over to, uh, I don't know too many streets in New York, but yeah, we're going to go up 18th. We're going to go up, in New York, it's just a whole bunch of numbers. We're going to go up 118th Street. Then we're going to cross over 23rd. We're going to go to East 23rd and uh, 118th. That's what we're going to hit the truck. Ain't that the route y'all take? All right. Drew's like, look, Monet, just one time. Monet, she don't even care about that one time. She like, nigga, please, it's going to be more than one time. Nigga. If I tell you I had to get in that motherfucking car, we're going to get in that car. Plus, somebody got to keep the lights on at this motherfucking hotel. I mean, at the hotel. Where, where we at? The bar? It's dark as a motherfucker in here. Where, is it? where that damn bartender at? How be paying that nigga? He don't never show up. Monet get focused. Now, Monet talking about, all right, Scouts honor, Drew. Scouts or Scouts honor. If you cross your fingers, it don't count. Scouts honor, Drew, just one time. This is how unserious Monet is. She allows Drew to bring these two guys, Eric and Zay. Now, if y'all never met Eric and Zay, y'all say what up, Eric. Say, hey, everybody say what up, Eric and Zay in the chat. This is Eric and Zay in the chat right here. And these are my dogs, but man, they sometimes they be talking some shit. So we are they, they gonna be talking shit. We're gonna put them on the streets and see how much shit talking they're gonna do. This is my dog, Eric and Zay, right here. They can either one, it could be either one of them. They're my dogs, though. But look how Monet's interviewing them. Monet's sitting at the bar. Man, y'all niggas don't look like y'all be on shit, but fuck it. Y'all trying to get some money? Yeah, we trying to get some money. All right, listen. Y'all going to roll with Drew. I'm going to go to the crib. I'm going to go get flies a motherfucker. That's what y'all wearing? Like, we about to go do... We, we about to go do some sliding. That's what y'all wearing? A Nike drive fit? A black and red jacket? And you got a car hard on? That's what y'all wearing? Y'all do know we about to go do some sliding, right? You need to be putting on some designer. Like you need a y'all you ain't got no Balenci scullies. You ain't got no you ain't got no no push ices with y'all. Y'all ain't got nothing with y'all. This is what y'all showing up in a car heart and a Nike. Monet's not focused on the right shit, man. Monet's like, all right, we we can take these two niggas, but I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna put on some. I'm put on the the, the Louboutins. I'm put on the Louboutins. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put on the the motherfucking panda, the panda mink. Uh, we're gonna do Dolce pants. We're gonna mitch match designer today. We're gonna do the Dolce pants with the. Uh, Now nah, we're gonna do Dolce top and bottom with the panda meat. Fuck it. Hey, y'all meet us in about an hour. Like Monet, like this is what Monet's at the bar in. She could just go slide in this shit. Monet decides to go home and get extravagant. Long story short, because this is Monet's story. This is what Monet shows up in, y'all. No, no, like, oh, let's let, let's be serious right now. Let's just be serious just one moment. What will possess them 
to write this where Monet goes home and puts on this big ass motherfucking panda coat to go do some sliding to steal 50 to 100 I ain't going to say 150 keys. Who said, you know what? Have Monet go home. Tell Wardrobe that big ass mink, we need to put that motherfucker on in one of these scenes. They gave it to us. We got to put it on in one of these scenes. Fuck it. Put it on the Monet Montana scene. What's the Monet Montana scene? Tony Montana, Monet Montana, nigga. Put the mink on, give her the chop chop, and let her lay some shit down. That Corella DeVille jacket. <laughs> 101 Dalmatian code, Nicola. What possessed them to do this? I know when y'all was watching it, y'all, I couldn't have been the only person like, man, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. We just put together a plan. We just got two goonies. We about to go rob some drug dealers. Why is Monet going to be in the darkness with all white on? We can see that. You can't run in them hills. Jenna didn't see that one. Nah, hell no. Nah. I don't know if there's basements in New York. She had that one in the basement. Either that or Monet just picked that motherfucker up. Sometimes you got to pop out and show niggas. Certified boogeyman. Monet the one to up the pole on them. Up the skull on them. Well, anyway, Monet popped out with this big ass panda on. Panda, panda, panda. Only for Don Carter to tell her ass to shut up. <laughs> oh, man, it's a full circle moment, man. We already talked about Don Carter bringing them down, but what was Monet thinking, man? Like, I'm sorry, bro. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Kendall over there pocket watching again. I didn't mention anything about money. Now these fools are in debt. They went from having no work to getting some work. Well, I mean, they get to make 70, I mean, 65%. Let's just say 50 bricks, 25K. Now we're going to do some pocket watching. But it ain't really pocket watching. 50. one25 times... So they'll make if it's 50 bricks at 25,000, they'll make 812,500 and then Carter would get 437. Golly. But it didn't look like they had 50 bricks. They probably had more like 20. So we just cut it in half. One seventy five to him. Damn, my bad. 175 minus 500,000. They'll make 325. He'll get 175. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. That 175 and you ain't got to do nothing. Hundred and seventy five, and you ain't got to do nothing. That really ain't that bad, to be honest with you. Now, hey, now I see why Don Carter want that money. 
Yeah, that was diabolical, y'all. <laughs> All right, man. There we go. Talked about Monet a little bit. Ain't really much crack off with her. Just, just her past. We got to knock Carter off. Whoa, 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 whoa. We. I ain't got nothing to do with that one. <laughs> All right, man. We got like ten minutes, and I gotta get the hell out of here. Uh, but I ain't on no Wi-Fi though. Connected. All right, Sharona, you can go be a gangster if you want to. <laughs> I'm not encouraging none of that shit. <laughs> you go be a gangster if you want to. Let us know how that is. When you go to when you go to jail, just be like, man, I should have listened to Mo, man. I should have listened to Mo. That, that wasn't the move. That wasn't the move. I'm in a big move. But yeah, um, like I said, we got like 10 minutes of free time, if that. Uh, what 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 kind of live y'all want to do tomorrow? Y'all want to break down the... Because uh, that's what I initially planned. Y'all want to break down the titles and the descriptions for the... Uh, and we could do a Tubi movie also tomorrow. <laughs> 